Welcome back to the Jaws Challenge at Peahi, and here is our finals lineup. Albie Lair, Billy Kemper, Koa Rothman, Grant Twiggy Baker, Kai Lenny, and Tyler LaRon. Someone is going to be this year's champion, and that someone's going to be one of those six men. Out in the field, we have an hour-long final, which has just started 57 minutes and 40 seconds counting down. Well, that's good news. He's yeah, ready to go still. He's probably got four or five boards in the channel. Wow, nice barrel out the back here. Albi Lair doing Albie. what he does on that Albi Bowl. Finds his way under the curtain and back into the channel. So nice start for Albi Lair, Peter. Look at, again, on that ball, he's able to drive up into it. Carries a ton of speed. Some of the fastest big wave surfboards are coming out of Ordinance. He gets uh, himself. He's it, it literally is these gigantic shortboards is really what it comes out to be. Uh, he was injured, so he didn't get a shot. So this year to get in and then make good on that shot and make it all the way to the final Billy is incredible. Billy Kemper in a barrel. Billy Kemper oh! barely making it out. Just getting caught up, but he's going to get rewarded for that effort and that positioning. Oh, man. He is, uh, again, he knows where it all is on the line. Up, oh, broken board. Nope, it's all good. Well, let's take a look at some of these replays. I mean, very, very deep for Billy Kemper. And look at him go into this. And look how hollow that wave got. I mean, he had everything going for him, but then it filled up with that white water. The control of the board goes away. Incredible stuff, though. I mean, look at what he's doing here. He sees it. The line pumps up into it. And look at how hollow that wave is. Remember this because uh, Josh Kerr and him took off on a wave together, and there was a, a moment where it felt like there was some interference. But Kai Lenny back in the action right now. Kai finds the barrel, and Kai finds the exit. Are you kidding? The this is the final we're waiting on. for. Is that is sick. Now, looking at Kai Lenny. Again, look at the angle of the swell. I mean, these waves are breaking directly onto the reef. Beautiful tube ride completed, spit out. Man, how are you going to do, uh, how are you going to get these scores in? <laughs> look at the drag. He actually stalled. Yeah, that was amazing positioning. Totally disappeared there. That is just incredible stuff from Kai Lenny. So the change in equipment worked in Kai Lenny's favor, it appears. First time we've seen him on this board, Peter, and uh, it's looking like he made the right decision. Yeah, and, I, and, and to be honest, I think that if you think about uh, Kai Lenny and, and we talked about his, you know, it feels like there is a little bit of effect of tide because it's much hollower than we've seen. Well, we had a high tide this morning, so that this is the effects of the tide. It's draining out. It seems also, too, like the wind may have calmed like literally 30 knots and now it's probably 25 still really windy but man it's great to see the waves turning on for the final grant baker making the drop and it's going to go complete but fireworks from alby lair as well as billy kemper well just to give him a little bit more time uh of course if there's lulls as we take a look at billy, billy on a bomb billy kemper negotiates a big drop stays with the whitewater in the critical section Gets a high line there and rides through that bucking Bronco, hanging on all the way to the channel to show the judges he's got control. Here's Billy, Billy Kemper. So this is going to be a backup for Billy. He opened up with a 7.7. .7. So this is wave number two. We're waiting on this score, Peter. Well, you think about Billy's waves in comparison to what we saw from uh, Kai Lenny. The positioning on the reef. He is really deep. I mean, he is the deepest one up on the peak. So that creates a lot more uh, degree of difficulty because he has to make the wave out into the channel. It's tougher to do from where he's at. So uh, that's a commitment too, because you're putting yourself in a little bit more danger because you're uh, obviously onto the shallow part of the reef. So uh, he's doing what he needs to do. That critical section, Tyler Laron finds a barrel of his own and comes out, spit right behind him and you can see he is excited and he is gaining momentum in this final as he has been throughout the entire event. Well, I have to say that Tyler Ron, the uh, underdog in this one, definitely has the crowd support. Look at this replay of this wave here. This is Tyler Laron. Again, down on that inside section, but look at the opportunity that was gifted to him. Perfectly placed another SOS shaped surfboard underneath the feet of Tyler Laron. So uh, these boards look like they're the Jaws pick. <laughs> I mean, because that's the reason why, is they're so stable in those bumps, and they fly down the line. Double shakas. And uh, both these surfers surf that place very, very well, so it could be a very exciting 
uh, finish in the season for that world title race. Score in for Green, Tyler Leron, an 8.03. Tyler's up in second place, Kai Lenny in first. Billy Kemper can go to first with a 2.94. We're waiting on that score for Kemper. Waves coming through. Let's see if this gives any opportunities for our surfers on the paddle. And drifting into this one, this is Kai Lenny. Patient off the bottom, high line approach there, back to the bottom. Performance oh, on a big wave displayed by Kai Lenny, 2.91. This well, is Kai Lenny, and look at this performance. I really like this because of the high line, you know, the, that risk there with the wind blowing up, then the car back, and watch him kind of bounce off the foam. <laughs> and his yeah. board just flowed through it uh, the entire time. It's so difficult to do. He's turning, see their footwork. See how he shifted after the bottom turn. He literally dropped back about a foot, both feet, jumping back to carve down. Sit back in the lead, right behind him. Billy Kemper looking for a barrel, finding a barrel, difficult section, goes into that second section. Oh! And Kemper, can he make it? Oh, Almost comes out. Goodness. What an effort for Billy Kemper. And what an exchange between Kai Lenny and Billy Kemper, oh, number man. one and two currently in this final. If Billy comes out of that, he just locked this thing down. He pretty much did. I mean, but Kai's right there now, too. I mean, he has uh, one of the best numbers of the heat with the 833, oh. but that was some really good control by Kai Lenny and uh, navigation of the barrel by Billy Kemper. As soon as he identified oh. that this isn't a barreling, a barreling wave, he went into that performance style and he drew his bottom turn back up as we look at Billy's almost made two, I mean, you almost want to say he made it because you saw him come out of it, but he didn't surf out of it, right? And after that length and that much negotiation through a deep, deep barrel. Wow. I'd actually like to uh, fix a mistake I made. Kai Lenny actually finished with an equal seventh in Nazare, so he is the first closest one behind who is in this final to uh, Grant Baker. So we've got looking like a three horse race right now with uh, Billy who almost gets through that one, but. You know, that high line is always dangerous when you're way up there, especially on a wave like this. It, uh, you know, at the bottom will just fall out from underneath you is exactly what happened to him there. Yeah, you know, Billy's a little bit of a throwback to to almost that, to compare it to, ba to basketball, Magic and Bird. Oh, here we go. I'll be like there. Patient off the bottom. We know what happens next. Here comes the barrel. Just a little bit of a shade for Alby Lair but he goes complete on that ride. And, I, and everything's gotten so politically correct and so lovey-dovey. <laughs> um, I love that. I love, I love the competitiveness. We need, those, we need those characters, we do. And I mean, and, and there's a, a serious drive um, in, in Billy Kemper. I mean, and, and my experience with him, you know, in the water, as we watch these replays here, beautiful, clean wave on the face and uh, great wave choice from, from Albie Layer, Lair, and he, absolutely thought that he was going to be able to uh, find it to quite happen for him. And I don't know what quite happens here is that drift, but you can see he's riding a much bigger board and all that surface area getting grabbed uh, by that water and slowing down. Hit the Lomi Salmon first, then a little bit of poi, right? You're going to hit the Kalua Pork, then some poi. Let's move over to Albi real quick while he's trying to set something up. A little so turn off the top. Back to the it. plan, Pete. Yeah. Do you change your strategy at this point? Or if, okay, let's go to Tyler. If you're Tyler, do you change your plan? Do you modify what's going on? Or do you just stick and be patient? Uh, as we watch the replay here of Albie, I mean, this is a beautiful, clean face wave. You know, that we haven't seen a lot of that. Albie's been able to choose the ones that are there, but that one, not a barrel. So he knows full well that that's not exactly what he would have needed. Um, he has waves that are in comparison to that. But he thought down the line that it could give him that opportunity. He saw him wait off the bottom. One of the surfers able to get into that wave. Clock is ticking down, gentlemen. I don't know if there's enough time, but maybe. Albi Lair sending it, pulling in, but no exit there for Lair. Classic effort, though. You, you, you got to tip your hat to that never say die attitude, so. Me? I won? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Yes! <laughs> that's there right! Uh, that's, that's what we were waiting for. Billy Kemper, I think the 2018 <laughs> Joss <laughs> Challenge Champion. Again. And again. And again. <laughs> what a moment.